Well, why don't you take a good look at this? What's that say? It says Tenere 700. Brand spanking new from Yamaha. It's a 2021 model. Come out in 2020. It's a good machine. 700 Tenere. And, you know, we've been waiting a long time for this thing to come out. And so I bought this thing the 10th of this month. This is December 3rd of 2020. I bought this thing the 10th of this month. And I've got almost 400 miles on it. And the temperature today is 44 degrees, but I'm riding it anyway. And I don't know what kind of riding you do. Uh, I don't know what your riding styles are, what your riding habits are. But this is just my opinion on this motorcycle. This is probably one of the, and I, I, I'm 68 years old. I've been riding motorcycle for a day or two. And uh, I'm just going to tell you, this bike is the best all-purpose bike I've ever ridden in my life. This bike does it all. Uh, I can get off and I can ride dirt roads if I want to. I can ride gravel roads. I can get off and do serious dirt if I want to. I ain't gonna, but I can. I can ride highway, highway speeds. I can run our interstate speeds if I want to. Ain't going to. But uh, it rides good. It handles good. It's got great performance. The, the power on it is just, it's just unbelievable. It's so smooth. Uh, it's balanced good. It feels like about a, a 250 as far as balance, the way it handles and stuff. It feels like a 250, but it's, uh, it's 452 pounds. So it's, uh, it's kind of a middle weight, but, uh, I tell you what, as far as uh, the waiting for a bike like this come along here, it's been a long wait. Uh, I mean, if you wanna, if you like cruisers, well, that's that's up to you. But this thing here will cruise. It, uh, like I said, it's got a six-speed transmission. It's a vertical twin. It's a powerhouse, but it's torquey. It's got torque, low end torque like you wouldn't believe. <clears throat> the gear ratio between first, second, third, all the way up to sixth is, is just almost perfect. They're just, it just, it, uh, there's no, uh, there's no lag. There's no dead spots. There's no, no, uh, what do you call peaking. And you know, like, like you do on a two stroke, it, it's, 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 it's smooth all the way through. Is it the world's best motorcycle, in my opinion? Absolutely. But it's not going to be for very long. And I hope what I'm about to say comes true. This is a Tenere 700. They make the Tenere 1200. They make the 700 Tenere 700. The 700 is completely changed. It's, it's a whole different concept, okay? And there's been scuttlebutt about a T3. It's a 310 Tenere. And I just bought this bike and it was $10,000. I ain't got that kind of money, but I'll tell you what, it was well worth the wait. But if they come out with a T3, if it's half of what I think it's gonna be, I own one of them too. And then in these two bikes, it will be the perfect combination of any and everything you'd ever wanna do. Uh, Yamaha or um, Honda came out with a new 300. Uh, Kawasaki came out with a new 300 class, but they're they're singles, and I love singles. I love thumpers, but uh, I think the the, the 310 is going to be a vertical twin. And used to be you couldn't get the torque out of a vertical twin. So I've been riding bikes for quite a while. And they tried vertical twins before in the small bores, and just they just couldn't get the power out of them, couldn't get the torque out of them. But with the newer technologies, 
And I like old school, but I'm gonna tell you what, the newer technology they've got, uh, it's made a big difference in the way these uh, engines perform. Uh, yeah, they're high revs. This thing here, red line's at 12 grand, but uh, that's all right. It's it's a manageable power. But uh, no, I love the thumpers. But uh, you take something like this, and and the big to me the big controversy, the big the big deal on bikes like this is being able to. Uh, ride them on road to get to where you want to go to do your off-road experience and so if you're taking if you're taking a single cylinder versus a a twin out on the road we'll say you got to ride 35 40 mile 50 mile to get to where you want to get off and and do some serious good dirt riding the power is going to be a lot better on the the vertical twin that is if they make them comparable to what they did in 700 the 700 this 700 is is just it, it's for well, like i said as far as i'm concerned the, the best bike I ever built bar none and uh, that's this is just for me uh, it does have a, a 34 inch seat height the seat height's a little bit tall uh shorter riders might have a little trouble keeping it upright but uh, I'll guarantee you, once you got it rolling down the road, you'd love it. They do make lowering kits for it, I believe. But uh, it, it's it's the perfect bike. I love it. Uh, it it's it, I tell you what, this this is the best bike that's came out in 40 years. Uh, so take it from there. Uh, this kind of reminds me of of. Uh, the old bikes, the, the way bikes used to be, the way bikes are supposed to be. I think this thing's got ABS brakes. Oh, I mean, it's 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 fuel injected and all that stuff, but the only frills it's got on it is ABS brakes. That's because our illustrious government says it's got to have ABS brakes. And I don't, I don't and here's a statement I'm gonna make it. I don't care who you are, I don't care. ABS brakes, will get you killed on a motorcycle. ABS brakes are junk on a motorcycle. ABS brakes is the biggest, biggest no-no they could have ever done to a motorcycle because once that ABS starts working, you have no control. And uh, the, the main thing about riding a motorcycle is control. If there's times I've seen time when you had to lock that rear wheel and slide that thing, you had to slide it sideways, you had to lay it down, you, I've seen it happen. Uh, and I've seen times where you have to be able to feather that front end. Otherwise, it'll go out from, out from underneath you. Anybody that's rode a bike knows, knows this to be a cold, hard fact. And if you're just a strictly a street rider, well, then, then have your ABS brakes. I don't care. But for me, no. It, it, it's, it's, it's worthless. So thank God they, they were smart enough to put a switch on it or I can turn that crap off. And that's the first thing I do. I don't want ABS brakes. ABS brakes, as far as I'm concerned, will get you killed. Uh, you know, it's like that's my opinion. Uh, you know, you don't have to argue. You don't have to agree with it. It don't matter to me because I don't. I'm not here to please you anyway. I'm here to please me. I'm the only person uh, I have to please. So, but anyway, 700 Tenere, best motorcycle in the market, my opinion. Bar none, it'll, it'll, it does. It's so close to being the perfect bike to do everything. Uh, it's pathetic, and I tell you what, the rest of the rest of the pack's got a long way to go to catch up. But uh, maybe this is a good time for for motorcycles. Maybe they're finally uh, listening to motorcycle riders uh, to what we want and what we, what we're looking for. Uh, you know. So, but anyway, so much for that.